Hi, Mrs. Rocha here. Today I'm going to read a chapter from an Encyclopedia Brown book. When I was your age, since I'm specifically <laughs> reading to my third graders here, I was about your age when I found, discovered Encyclopedia Brown. And my friend Tammy and I, we even created our own little uh, detective club where we try to solve mysteries. And so that's what Encyclopedia Brown does. He tries to solve mysteries and he's really good at it. So this book is so old that if you look at the copyright date, when you turn a few pages, you'll see that the copyright is 1977. So this book is older than most of your parents. Okay, I'm going to read the chapter called The Case of the Hidden Penny. Listen carefully, use your visualizing skills to help you understand what's going on because you're going to try to solve the mystery. The Case of the Hidden Penny. Encyclopedia wanted to help the children of the neighborhood. So when school let out for the summer, he opened his own detective agency in the garage. Every morning he hung out his sign. Brown Detective Agency, 13 Rover Avenue, Leroy Brown, President, no case too small, 25 cents per day, plus expenses. On Tuesday, business was slow all morning till Elmo Thomas came in. Elmo was Idaville's junior yo-yo champion. Mothers, he grumbled, they don't understand kids. That's no way to talk, protested Encyclopedia. If my mother understood me, I wouldn't have got kicked in the rear and had my best yo-yo stolen. I'd be worth a lot of money besides. All that is your mother's fault? Well, not really, admitted Elbo Elmo. She just doesn't understand what it takes to be a yo-yo champ. You can't sit back. You have to keep your hand and eye sharp to stay in the big time. You follow me? Keep talking and maybe I'll catch up, said Encyclopedia. Last week I broke a lamp in the living room doing a loop-the-loop, -loop, said Elmo. This morning I was in the kitchen practicing round the corner when Mom tripped over the string. Her breakfast went flying. She said something to you, guessed Encyclopedia. And how? She told me I'd have to practice outdoors. That was mean. It's daylight outdoors. You noticed, said Encyclopedia, blinking. I plan to work today in the basement with my number one yo-yo. It glows in the dark, said Elmo. But I made the best of things. I went outside and put a blanket over my head. Encyclopedia could scarcely wait to hear what was coming next. I was getting pretty good under the blanket, said Elmo. No fancy stuff like three-leaf clover or man on the flying trapeze. Just lots of fast zzz, thwop, till Bugs Meany kicked my backside. Oh boy, said Encyclopedia, Bugs shows up wherever there is trouble. Do you remember why he's under a sheet? He wants to see his glow-in-the-dark yo-yo, right? Bugs Meany was the leader of a gang of tough older boys. They called themselves the Tigers. They should have called themselves the Taffy Twisters. They were always pulling something crooked. After Bugs kicked me, he yanked off the blanket and begged my pardon, recalled Elmo. He said he thought I was an Arab. He took my yo-yo and put it in his pocket and asked me my name. Elmo Thomas, I said. Bugs laughed. Go buy yourself a last name, he said, and flipped me a penny. He bought your best yo-yo for one cent, exclaimed Encyclopedia. No wonder you're sore. Forget the yo-yo, said Elmo. The penny was dated 1901 and had an S mark under the date. It's worth $25 or more. Bugs must have seen the look on my face right away. He took back the penny and kept the yo-yo. Elmo put a quarter on the gas can beside Encyclopedia. I want to hire you, he said. Get back the penny. I figure it belongs to me. So do I, said Encyclopedia. If I know Bugs, he'll have hidden the yo-yo, but he won't let the penny out of his sight. Come on. 
The two boys hurried to the Tiger's Clubhouse, an unused tool shed behind Mr. Sweeney's auto body shop. The clubhouse was empty. When Bugs celebrates a crooked deal, he usually goes to Friedman's Delicatessen for a hot dog and root beer. Encyclopedia said, the sauerkraut is free. He's probably there now. Encyclopedia was correct. Bugs stood at the relish counter. He had piled sauerkraut two inches high on his hot dog and roll and was smearing mustard on top with a wooden spoon. Make like a rattlesnake and bite yourself to death, he growled as the boy detective came up. Encyclopedia was used to Bugs' warm greeting. You stole the penny you paid Elmo for his yo-yo this morning. Give it back. Elmo? Who's Elmo? gasped Bugs, looking around. Me, you big bully, said Elmo. Man, oh man, cried Bugs. I never saw this child in my life. I was out in the woods all morning studying woodpeckers to find out why they don't get headaches. He walked toward a table and sat down. Encyclopedia and Elmo followed. Bugs leaned over and tightened the lace on his right shoe. He bit into his hot dog and chewed, his mouth barely able to close. Then he took a drink of root beer. Go on, scram, he said. I'm eating. He shifted under Encyclopedia stair and tapped his right foot nervously. Say, maybe you'd like to search me? Nope, said Encyclopedia. Bug shrugged and finished his drink. He tossed the paper cup into a trash can 10 feet away. I'm going for another soda, he announced. Be useful and watch my hot dog while I'm gone. He walked toward the soda counter, grinning. Why didn't you search him, demanded Elmo. Because I know where he's hidden the penny, replied Encyclopedia. Where? Hmm, where did he hide that penny? I don't know if I should tell you today, or if I should wait till tomorrow. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to tell you today, since this is the first Encyclopedia Brown story. So on the bottom, what's so cool, it says turn to page 90 for the solution. So I'm going to anxiously, quickly turn to page 90. Solution to the case of the hidden penny. Bugs had seen Encyclopedia and Elmo enter the restaurant before they had seen him. He guessed why they had come, so he hid the penny in his hot dog. To cover it, he had quickly heaped sauerkraut on top and then smeared on mustard. That was his mistake. No hot dog lover smears mustard on top of sauerkraut. The mustard goes on first and the sauerkraut afterward. Bugs had expected Encyclopedia to search him and then leave, but Encyclopedia didn't. So rather than have to swallow the last part of the hot dog, the part with the penny, Bugs gave the coin back to Elmo. And that was the case of the hidden penny. Okay, guys, well, let me know what you thought about that chapter. And, uh, you know, it's kind of, some of it's kind of silly because here in Texas, you know, I don't know how many of you eat sauerkraut with your hot dog. So let me know in the comments. Do you ever eat sauerkraut on your hot dog? Do you know what sauerkraut is? Keep safe. Have a great rest of the day. And I will see you soon. Bye now.